Yo, what the fuck is Gucci, my niggas? Uh, today, it's your boy Bull Ratty bringing you another tutorial. Uh, I've known, I know you guys wanted this for a while now, and uh, I promised that I would have been making them every single day, but I couldn't do that because I was so caught up with projects that I couldn't do tutorials because uh, so and so. But school started now. And uh, I'm limiting myself to uh, only editing for my friends, Prizzy, a couple members in Phase, a couple members in Dare, Optic, and mainly Bolt. But, you know, it goes from there. And my paid edits. So, um, anyways, today we're going to basically be making what you just seen. Uh, it's basically my flashes. A lot of I get a lot of messages every day asking how I do my flashes and uh, what I use. Most people I know, such as Zebo, they use uh, the after, not after effects, they use the effect called brightness and contrast. And honestly, I do not like using that at all. I do it a little bit differently than everyone else. So uh, basically, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to, uh, how I sync my uh, edit, my edit, edits with the flash. So basically, you sync it with songs. So uh, basically, let's just go ahead and import a random clip. Um, I'll just go ahead and import, uh, let's see, we'll just import the sub bass clip. And so basically, you want to uh, import a song that you wish to use. Um, I gotta go copyright free, so let's use, we'll go with some E-double, you know overused but basically I was the first one to start editing COD with him so I can you know use them I went to sleep and I woke up dead but I changed my mind and I won basically what you want to do is uh, find a part where uh, you want to do the edit I mean, uh, a good sinking spot, so let me just listen real quick. I changed my mind and I want to live my life. Alright, we'll just start it towards this part right here. What you want to do is drag that down, put it on its own track. And uh, you're going to go over here, you're going to split your clip to your uh, feed. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do the feed part. I'm going to take the auto. We're just going to do flashes. So I'm just going to erase this, grabbing a good clip. Because sub bass is not really a good map to do bright flashes on, so let me just grab a simpler clip. We'll just do, we'll go with COD 4. Alright. So basically, we're just gonna remove this audio. And I want to live my life A to Z, fill up all the vacancies, feel the vi Okay, so. And I, and I what, I, vacation from what I do to mark my flashes is I hit M on the keyboard, so I find the spot where I want, so. And I want to. So I find the spot that I want, and then on my keyboard, you want to hit M. This M will place a marker. So I'll just get rid of that white spot, you hit that. And basically what you want to do is go throughout the project and uh, do markers. In my life. So let's go here really quick. So live my life. Live my life. Life A, A to Z. A, 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 fill up all, all the vacancies. Feel the vi vindication from the hate. hate you get for. Alright, so basically, we're just gonna stop there. Basically, you have these markers. And so we're just gonna go zoom in. Or, yeah. So basically, you have these markers. And what these will do is uh, be target points for where you want to sync. I use this all the time because I sync a lot of feeds and stuff and trick shots, and I love this effect. I think I said it before, it's one of my favorite effects in uh, Sony Vegas. So, what you wanna do. Is where these markers are you want to split your clip so where this first one is I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard split it go over here do the same thing hit S S S 
basically you just want to do the whole thing throughout split it you want to make sure your video clock is clicked by the way because if you just have it like this and you hit s both of these tracks would split and you don't want that to happen okay so now basically we're going to do the flashes so let me just zoom this in so you guys can see a little bit you want to go over to the video effects tab and what i use is color curves you want to drag on reset to none onto the video clip and basically I have a preset here you guys can copy this I have a couple presets like there's a flash and stuff but here I'll do it with you so you want to go to reset to none you want to take this one right here you want to drag it up like that yeah basically you just want to drag it up like that so I'm just gonna put my preset on so you guys can copy if you want to do it the same way I do all I did is just drag this up so what you want to do now is click on animate and basically this is keyframing uh, you have to know a little bit about keyframing before you do this if you guys want a tutorial on that I'll help you out so basically right here it's, it's just simple you're flat you're it's just the brightness so what you want to do is go all the way towards the end and you want to click reset to none and uh, what you want to do because I have a preset what you want to do so it's the same flash throughout is uh, save this preset so to do that you click this little floppy disk and you hit save preset but you just name it so yeah uh, let me just go back and put my preset on so basically right here you will have the preset then it will go down to the original part of the clip and you just want to do it again so drag it on go to your preset animate drag this all the way back reset to none it's that simple guys that simple uh, you just want to do it throughout I mean really simple effect to do but I love helping you guys out cuz uh, you know people ask me how I got so good at editing honestly I'm not the best editor in the world but I've practiced for quite a while uh, so basically that's all the flashes well I didn't I'm not gonna do them all because you see in the start of the video but if you just keep going throughout live my life a to Z fill up all the vacancies it'll look really nice uh, so basically that's the whole entire tutorial guys uh, I believe tomorrow I'm gonna put out I'm gonna try if not I'll put out a different tutorial but I'm gonna try to put out a motion tracking tutorial a really simple one so you guys just can get the hang of it and uh, I'll post the files in the description I upload that video tomorrow but I hope you enjoy this simple tutorial and if you want more of these I'll be posting them out regularly so uh, thanks for watching guys